In the depths of the Scottish Highlands lurks an age-old mystery, one that has baffled the world for centuries, the Loch Ness Monster. Nestled among the rugged landscapes and sweeping valleys of Scotland, there lies a body of water as enigmatic as it is beautiful, Loch Ness. This ancient lake, the second largest and second deepest in all of Scotland, is the alleged dwelling of a creature as elusive as it is fascinating, a creature known by many names, but most famously, the Loch Ness Monster. This legendary entity is said to inhabit the inky depths of Loch Ness, hidden beneath the surface of the waters that stretch 23 miles long and nearly 800 feet deep. For centuries, this aquatic cryptid has been the centerpiece of countless tales and folklore, sparking intrigue and curiosity on a global scale. The Loch Ness Monster, or Nessie, as it is affectionately called, is more than just a creature of myth. It is a symbol, a testament to the allure of the unknown and the human fascination with the mysteries that lie just beyond our grasp. It is a cultural phenomenon, a beacon that draws in the curious and the adventurous from all corners of the world, eager to catch a glimpse of the elusive beast that may lurk below the loch's dark waters. To the local Scots, Nessie is a cherished part of their cultural heritage, a legend woven into the very fabric of their history. To the world, it is an enigma, a tantalizing riddle waiting to be solved. The Loch Ness Monster is a mystery that has captivated the world, a tale of intrigue that has endured through the ages, sparking debates, theories, and countless expeditions in search of the truth. Whether Nessie is a figment of our collective imaginations, a misidentified animal, or a relic from a bygone era, the fascination with this creature remains undiminished. The allure of the Loch Ness Monster is as deep and as vast as the lake it purportedly calls home. It's a tale that has stood the test of time, but where did it all begin? Our journey into the unknown begins in the 6th century with the first recorded encounter of the monster. The year was 565, a time when the Scottish Highlands were enveloped in the shadows of the Dark Ages. A man of faith named St. Columba was traversing the wild landscapes, spreading the word of Christianity. It was during this journey that he chanced upon the Loch Ness, a vast enigmatic water body that would later become the center of countless tales and legends. St. Columba and his companions were on the Loch's shores when they witnessed an event that would forever etch itself into folklore. A monstrous creature rose from the depths of the loch, its form casting an ominous shadow on the water surface. The behemoth was said to possess a fearsome appearance, inspiring both awe and terror in the hearts of those who bore witness. The monster was not simply a passive observer, it was aggressive, lunging at a man swimming in the loch, its jaws ready to devour. The scene was one of chaos and fear, but St. Columba, a man of unwavering faith, stepped forward. He made the sign of the cross and commanded the monster to retreat. In a surprising turn of events, the creature obeyed, disappearing back into the murky depths from whence it came. This encounter was documented in Life of Columba, penned by Adomnan, the ninth abbot of Iona. It was the first written record of what we now know as the Loch Ness Monster, or Nessie, as it is affectionately called. Though the text was written a century after the supposed encounter, it has undeniably played a significant role in shaping the legend we know today. The tale of St. Columba and the monster is filled with wonder and fear, a testament to the inexplicable mysteries that our world holds. It has sparked curiosity and intrigue, leading countless individuals to the shores of Loch Ness, all in pursuit of the elusive creature. This early encounter set a precedent for what was to become one of the world's most enduring mysteries. Fast forward to the 1930s, the Loch Ness Monster made headlines worldwide, instigating a surge of sightings. The 30s were a transformative time for the Loch Ness Monster. It was during this era that the creature went from a mere whisper on Scottish lips to a worldwide sensation. Sightings surged like never before and the world's eyes were fixated on a small, deep loch in the Scottish Highlands. One particular incident that fueled this frenzy was the infamous surgeon's photograph. Taken by respected London gynecologist Robert Kenneth Wilson, 
This image allegedly captured the head and neck of the creature emerging from the murky waters of Loch Ness. It was a grainy, black and white image, but it was enough to send shockwaves around the globe. The photograph was so compelling and the source so credible that it became the most famous evidence of the monster's existence. The surgeon's photograph was published in the Daily Mail in April 1934, and it caused a media storm. It was splashed across newspapers, talked about in hushed whispers, and debated in scientific circles. The Loch Ness Monster was no longer a Scottish legend, it was a global phenomenon. The public's reaction was a mix of intrigue, fear, and fascination. Stories of the monster were shared far and wide and people flocked to Loch Ness in hopes of catching a glimpse of the elusive creature. The surge of sightings during the 1930s was a testament to the power of the media and the enduring human fascination with the unknown. And yet, amidst the excitement, there was also skepticism. Some argued that the photograph was too convenient, too clear. It was, they claimed, a clever hoax. But for many, the surgeon's photograph was the proof they needed that the Loch Ness Monster was real. The 1930s was the decade that the Loch Ness Monster truly entered the public consciousness. It was a time of intrigue, excitement, and endless debate. The 1930s turned the Loch Ness Monster from local legend to global enigma. As the 20th century progressed, the mystery of Nessie drew not just curious onlookers, but also scientific investigators. This marked a turning point in our quest to unveil the truth behind the Loch Ness Monster. The first major scientific expedition took place in the 60s. A team of British scientists equipped with the latest sonar technology embarked on a journey to uncover the secrets of the Loch. Their mission was clear, to find evidence of the elusive creature's existence. The sonar readings, however, were inconclusive. They detected large, moving underwater objects, but could not definitively link them to Nessie. This didn't deter the investigators. In the 70s, a more ambitious expedition was launched. This time, underwater cameras were added to the arsenal. The operation known as the Loch Ness Phenomena Investigation Bureau captured an array of images, some of which seemed to depict a large, flipper-like object. Yet critics argued these images were too ambiguous and could be attributed to other aquatic life or debris in the water. The controversies didn't stop there. In the 80s, a significant expedition led by an American academy used more advanced sonar technology. They reported contact with a large, moving underwater object that behaved in a manner they deemed unusual for known aquatic creatures. The findings were both intriguing and controversial, sparking heated debates within the scientific community. Fast forward to the 90s, when an expedition dubbed Operation Deep Scan used a fleet of boats equipped with high-resolution sonar to scan the depths of Loch Ness. The results? Once again, unexplained sonar contacts suggested the presence of something large beneath the surface. The scientific community, split by the findings, added a new layer of complexity to the mystery. While some researchers were convinced of Nessie's existence, others remained skeptical, arguing for more concrete evidence. The scientific investigations into the Loch Ness monster, therefore, did not resolve the mystery, but instead deepened it, leaving us with more questions than answers. But not all that glitters is gold. The Loch Ness saga was not immune to hoaxes and debunkings. As the allure of the Loch Ness monster took hold, it was inevitable that some would seek to exploit the fascination for less than honest purposes. Let's delve into some of the notable hoaxes and debunking incidents that have cropped up over the years. One of the most infamous hoaxes involved what came to be known as the surgeon's photograph. Captured by a reputable surgeon named Robert Kenneth Wilson in the early 1930s, this image seemed to offer undeniable proof of Nessie's existence. It showed a creature with a long neck and a small head, just as eyewitnesses had described seemingly gliding through the water. For decades, this photograph was held up as the most compelling evidence of the Loch Ness Monster. However, in the 1990s, it was revealed to be a hoax. The creature in the photograph was actually a toy submarine outfitted with a sculpted head and neck. The revelation came from Christian Sperling, who on his deathbed confessed to his involvement in the ruse, 
stating that it was intended to make a fool out of an overzealous monster hunter. Despite this and other hoaxes, the legend of the Loch Ness Monster endured. Skeptics might argue that these deceptions discredit the entire legend, but for many, they only serve to make the mystery more intriguing. After all, if people were going to such lengths to fake evidence of the monster's existence, might there be some truth to the legend? Hoaxes aside, there have been scientific attempts to debunk the Loch Ness monster myth. DNA testing of the Loch's water has been conducted, with results suggesting that large animals reported could be giant eels, or even just misidentified mundane creatures. Yet these findings have done little to quell the fervor around Nessie. These hoaxes and debunkings, far from diminishing the legend, only serve to fuel the fire of curiosity. The mystery of the Loch Ness Monster remains, as captivating and enigmatic as ever. In the 21st century, the legend of the Loch Ness Monster is far from forgotten. As we journey into the era of advanced technology and scientific breakthroughs, the quest to unravel the mystery of Nessie has only intensified. The murky waters of Loch Ness have seen a surge of modern explorations, equipped with cutting-edge tools that our predecessors could only dream of. The most promising of these tools has been satellite imagery. With eyes in the sky, investigators have been able to scan the entirety of the loch with unprecedented detail. In 2005, a satellite image showing a large, unidentified creature beneath the surface stirred the public's imagination. Was this the elusive beast we've been searching for, or merely an optical illusion? The debate rages on. In addition to satellite technology, DNA sampling has proven to be a crucial tool in the Nessie investigations. In 2019, a group of researchers embarked on a unique project known as the Environmental DNA or eDNA study. They collected water samples from different depths and locations throughout Loch Ness with the aim of identifying all the creatures living in the lake. The findings were intriguing. While there was no evidence of a large marine reptile akin to the popular depiction of Nessie, the researchers discovered an unusually high amount of eel DNA. This led to a fascinating theory. Could Nessie be a giant eel, or perhaps a congregation of large eels? It's a possibility that can't be ruled out. In the same year, another team of investigators used sonar technology to explore the loch's depths. They stumbled upon a large, unidentifiable mass resting on the lake bed. Although the object remained unidentified, this discovery added another layer to the mystery, fueling yet more speculation about Nessie's existence. Moreover, personal accounts and sightings haven't dwindled in the digital age. Quite the contrary, with the ubiquity of smartphones, more and more photos and videos claiming to capture the creature have emerged. Some of these have been debunked as hoaxes or misinterpretations, but others remain unexplained, keeping the flame of curiosity alive. In the face of these modern sightings and investigations, the Loch Ness Monster continues to captivate us. Some see it as a simple myth, while others believe in the existence of an unclassified creature lurking in the depths. Regardless of the stance one takes, it's a testament to our collective fascination with the unknown. The Loch Ness Monster may be elusive, but the pursuit for answers continues. The legend persists, not just as a tale to thrill and chill, but as a perennial reminder of our innate desire to explore, to question, and to understand the world around us. The journey may be riddled with uncertainty, but isn't that what makes it all the more intriguing? The Loch Ness Monster, real or not, has etched itself into the annals of history. The tale of this elusive creature, nestled deep within Scotland's Loch Ness, has captivated the world for centuries. Its story, woven with threads of mystery, intrigue, and a touch of the supernatural, is a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown. From the first sightings to the surge of encounters, from scientific investigations to hoaxes and debunks, and finally to the modern sightings and investigations, we've journeyed through the complex tapestry that forms the legend of the Loch Ness Monster. Each strand, each tale, each account adds depth to its mythology, feeding our collective fascination. The Loch Ness Monster is more than just a creature lurking in the depths of a Scottish loch. It's a symbol of our human curiosity, our unquenchable thirst for mystery and exploration. 
It stands as a reminder of the vast unknowns that our world, even in this age of technology and discovery, still holds. The legend has seeped into our popular culture, influencing literature, film, and art. It has captured our imagination, spawning countless theories and debates, each adding fuel to the undying flame of its legend. It has sparked scientific inquiry, urging us to probe deeper, to question, to seek the truth. But perhaps the most profound impact of the Loch Ness Monster is its ability to unite us. Across generations, across cultures, the tale of Nessie has brought people together in shared wonder and speculation. It transcends boundaries, creating a common thread of intrigue and curiosity. As we stand at the precipice of the known and the unknown, the legend of the Loch Ness Monster serves as a beacon, inviting us to question, to explore, to dream. It is a testament to the enduring power of mystery and the boundless reach of human imagination. Whether a myth, a misinterpretation, or a lurking reality, the Loch Ness Monster invites us to ponder the unknown, reminding us that there are still mysteries in this world waiting to be unveiled.